friends! I'm starting another travel vlog and I don't think you've seen the first one I posted. I might post it tomorrow while I'm in the traveling situation. But um, I am going to Philadelphia. I think I told you about this in my Vlogmas a long time ago. I got accepted into a research conference in Philadelphia. And so I'm going there right now. And it's the middle of a school week. It's Tuesday night in the middle of the night. I am with my mommy. She's taking me to the bus station. Yeah. We have already bought a second bus ticket tonight because I messed up and bought the wrong first bus ticket. So that's good. Um, and I think I'm all packed. I'm all ready to go. I have to print the second bus ticket and then we're going to roll out. It is 10.46 and I'm gonna sleep on the bus and I'm gonna get to Philadelphia in the morning and you will see all of that. So I'll talk to you later. Bye. I'm here, you guys. Um, This is my hotel room. You can see it. Big ass bed. Um, I don't know. What do you think I'm going to be doing in there? I'm just one person. But, um, I made it to Philadelphia. Um, the, my hotel is really nice. My Uber driver was really nice. The guys at the front desk were really nice. Um, they let me check in a little bit early, which is good because I got in a little early and I obviously don't have a car or anything. Um, I didn't record the whole bus riding situation because A, there were a ton of people around and B, I was very stressed out about the whole thing because I had to do a transfer in New York City and as I said, I purchased the wrong bus ticket and had to correct that last night. But, um, I'm here. I transferred in New York City, which was a trial and a half because no one knew where my bus was coming, what gate my bus was coming to. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'm definitely not making it to Philadelphia today. But I did. I ended up driving through my ex-boyfriend's town, which was uncomfortable and not what I wanted, but that's fine. Um, and now I'm here. And <laughs> that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to try to get some breakfast. I'm going to go back down to the front desk to see where they would recommend. And I'll catch up with you when I do that. Oh, and I have to charge my cell phone because it's like dead. So I am getting breakfast because even though it's like 12.30, I want breakfast food. I slept on a bus for like 10 hours today, which was like the best sleep I've gotten in a while, which is weird because I was sleeping on a bus. Um, but basically I'm getting breakfast someplace called Texas Wiener that the hotel guy recommended to me. So I'll show you when I get there. There was bacon, but I ate it because I'm really hungry. Um, so that was delicious. Um, it was like like old school diner food. Like I was watching her cook everything in front of me. She used the same pan for the eggs that she was for somebody else's steak. Um, <laughs> but uh, I didn't want to vlog while I was there because I was like at the counter and people could see me, and that makes me feel uncomfortable. Just quite honestly, it's like very very uncomfortable. Some vloggers are better at that than I am, but, you know, it happens. Um, so I'm waiting to cross the street. I'm going to go back to my hotel room, do some schoolwork. Then I'm, gonna go, then I'm going to go find the Kleist Oldenburg. And then we'll go from there. I got bubble tea. Um, if you've never had bubble tea before, it's got tapioca in the bottom and it's kind of squishy and chewy and weird. Um, I recommend you try it, but I don't think you necessarily will like it. I like it, but a lot of people don't. This is honeydew flavor, so it's really green. Um, and I also got Spearmint Altoids and Simply Caramel Milky Ways, because Simply Caramel Milky Ways are not that hard to find, but they're my favorite candy. And I, I basically just saw an advertisement for bubble tea at a convenience store, and that's how this happened, but just wanted to check in, share, I got some bubble tea. There was some Philadelphia water ice there, which I thought about getting, but my ex-boyfriend used to talk about it a lot and it just sounded a little weird to me. It has milk in it. I don't know. Anyway, so this is what I got. Just wanted to check in. I'm so sleepy. I want to take a nap. <laughs> I always take a nap on vacation. I mean, this isn't really like vacation vacation because I'm here for school. But like, you don't get that many opportunities to take the day off in nursing school and I am off of clinical today and I am off of clinical tomorrow so this is pretty much vacation and um I really want to take a nap should I take a nap I have so much school work to do literally I'm gonna spend this entire thing doing school work but I'm not gonna be doing school work in Buffalo and that is so much better you guys you have no idea <laughs> I mentioned yesterday that there was vlog footage of an old trip that I've never edited or posted and I said that I might do that today and I just did do that today and um, 
it'll be up. I will have it linked down below. Absolutely. Without a doubt. You guys, like, that was back in November. So that's like four months ago, five months ago now. It's been a while. Huh. Time flies. Um, so it was like five months ago and just like looking at that footage and looking at like where I was then and where I am now, like, I've come a long way, you guys. <laughs> I was so nervous to be by myself back then and I was like, in that restaurant, I was so, you've got to watch the video, you're going to have no idea what I'm talking about if you don't watch the video, but it's like 22 minutes long, which I get is long, but it's a whole like weekend of trip. So like, bear with me. Um, I was so nervous, you guys, about everything. Like, being on my own was so hard for me, and I just feel so much more comfortable now. Like, I've been nervous, but that's mostly been, like, technical difficulty stuff. It's not, like, being by myself, you know? And I, I just, I'm proud of how far I've come, and I... I don't know. Um, you know, things happen for a reason. They do. I, I don't believe it always. And you have to keep reminding yourself that everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. But it really does. Because I was not in a place where I could do things by myself in November. I was not there. And I just traveled to Philadelphia on public transportation. Like, just by myself. Like, I, did, I just did it. And, um, and I made transfers. And I was thinking back, like, my cell phone died in the beginning of that trip. And it was like, the, the whole sky was falling. Last night, I found out I didn't have a bus. Like, I didn't have a bus to get here. And I was like, and I was with my mom, albeit. But still, I was just like, okay, well, I'm going to get another bus. And I buy, bought the ticket, and I printed the ticket, and it was good. And I never worried about it again. And that ru almost ruined my entire trip last time. And that was, I don't know, like, I'm just, I'm so proud of myself. And I've been like, I don't know. I don't think I interacted with a single human being. I was on that trip because I was so embarrassed that I was by myself. And I'm like chatting it up with the hotel guys and the Uber driver and some Vietnamese, or no, Thai? I think it was Thai. A Thai family on the bus. Like, I don't know. I'm just so much more comfortable with myself than I was. And that's kind of cool because, I, you know, like, when you're going through hard times, and I am, and I don't, like, need to get into it because it's it's been ongoing Pretty much since August or July of last year and it just I feel like things over and over and over just keep happening and happening and happening like right now my dad is in the ICU my grandmother is recovering from the flu and my uncle had endocarditis and almost died last week so I mean I'm going through it right now and I have been for months but just to see like I don't know I've grown a lot and and sometimes you have to go through a lot of shit to grow I'm glad I'm here now. So, um, I'm gonna try to head out and make most of the fact that I'm in a new city. Well, not, I say new, but I have been to Philadelphia a few times. Um, but a new-ish city, a city that I'm not super familiar with. And I'm going to look for a Kleist Oldenburg. Um, you guys have probably heard me say that in this particular vlog before, but, um, I don't think I explained what I meant by that, and you probably don't know what that is. So, a Kleist Oldenburg is a sculpture um, by Kleist Oldenburg. I love Kleist Oldenburg sculptures. I saw my first one when I was like 10, maybe? 11? My family went out west and we saw Spoonbridge and Cherry in um, St. Paul, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota. And I thought it was just like the coolest thing in the world. I'll link it down below because it's really something to see. But if, you, if you're if you near St. Paul or you um, want to go to St. Paul, you got to check it out because it's really cool. Um, and so I loved it and I didn't know anything about it. We just stumbled upon it in a park when we were eating dinner. And then I got to middle school and we were studying different artists and we saw Spoonbridge and Cherry and I was like, hey, I've seen that in real life. And then we discovered that there were like tons of works by him all over the country and then when I just went to San Francisco I saw one of his and I've seen one of his in New York City I think or something it was like his in New York City and I just every time I see them it's just like it stops me in my tracks I think that they're so cool 
Um, they're basically, he does like normal average everyday objects, but he does them like usually with really bright colors and he does them giant. It's just like a giant statue of an every, everyday object. Like he has an arrow, I've seen that one. He has the spoon bridge and cherry. And today I'm gonna go try to find the clothespin, I believe. There's two actually of his works in Philadelphia. There's one on the U University of Pennsylvania campus and then there's one on Market Street, but the Market Street one is closer to me, so that's the one I'm gonna go look for. It's about 17 minutes walking and I should be able to figure it out. Um, I painted my nails. And so I'm going to go do that and see if I can find some food or at least some place that delivers on the way back so that I'll have dinner out of the way as well. I've been studying mostly um, and uploading videos, but I wanted to do something that was like fun and touristy while I was here. So that's what I'm doing. Philadelphia has kind of cool artwork all over the place. So this is something that I'm just kind of walking past on my way to the statue. And I think it's really cool. I don't know. I like it. It might be attached to a hospital. I'm not really sure, but I like it. Here's another one, just like random artwork on the side of a building. I love it. I'm coming up on something weird. Like, like, right there. Please stay tuned. What is that thing? It's like a, that looks like a Clay Soldenberg. What is that? Is that a Clay Soldenberg? That's a paintbrush. That's cool. Where am I? Is this the University of Pennsylvania? Where am I? That's cool! You guys, I found it! It's right there! Oh my god, this is so exciting! <laughs> How- I literally- I'm not even joking. I have been to this exact part of Philadelphia before and I have never seen this. How did I miss this? It is a giant clothespin! How did I miss this? That's so cool! You guys, look at this. Look at how big it is. You can't even tell, but it's like painted so that it looks like real grains of wood. This is so cool. This is so cool. I could cry right now. I'm so happy. I took a bunch of pictures with it. I'll have to throw one in here somewhere. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I'm going to go all the way around it just to help it because this is so cool. This is so cool. I'm on my way back, but I saw these lovely gardens and I had to stop because I love flowers. So now you're going to see the flowers with me. These are actually gorgeous. Holy camoli. Comcast knows how to do flowers. <laughs> Look at them. Look at that. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, so I was right. This is another Kleist Oldenburg. It's called the Paint Torch. And I'm gonna go look at the sign to see when it was built because it's the newest one. Oh, it's 2011, so that is really new. That's really cool. So there's four. There's a plug somewhere too that I'd never heard of. I think this is so cool. Uh, I just love this. This is so cool. I am so fucking hot. Oh my god. Oh, I feel like I've walked through a sauna. I left Buffalo yesterday. I'm moving this because it's a terrible angle. It was in the 30s and today I am in Philadelphia and it is 70 frigging degrees outside. That is hot. Oh my god. Anyway, so you saw the Kleist, you saw the other Kleist, and you, I don't know, I felt really great about that. Um, I chit-chatted, I don't I don't even want to get into it, but I don't know, I was a little worried about Philadelphia as the location for this trip, I was afraid it might make me a little sad, but um, it didn't, it hasn't, it's actually made me feel kind of good, because I've kind of taken it myself, and I like that. Um, and I was reading an article about the Kleist Oldenburgs because I wanted to find out if that thing was and that thing, anyway. So I read in the article that it is the city that has the most art in America. So <laughs> that explains why I kept coming across beautiful artwork on the street. Yeah. There's also that love statue here, which is similar style to the way Kleist Oldenburg does his stuff. It kind of fits in together, but um, it's not by him. Um, and I saw that a long time ago when I went with my parents or just my mom, I think, actually. Um, and so I saw that then. I am not going to go back to see that, I don't think, um, unless my friends want to tomorrow. I'm going to be with a couple of my friends tomorrow because um, they're coming in for the conference as well, but they're not here right now. So that's why I'm out by myself. And I'm out. Uh, now I'm going to order food. I have a donut because I stopped to guy, buy that guy a sandwich, and so I got myself a donut as well. I'm excited. So you forgot my ranch dressing. Me. Oh well, I love ham and pineapple pizza. I was actually
talking to this guy today, um, just a friend, and, um, I asked, we were talking about ham and pineapple pizza, and he thinks it's horrible, and then it reminded me that I, I love ham and pineapple pizza, and I haven't had it in a really, really long time, so I'm going to dig into this. A little low on the pineapple, I do have to say. Anyway. <laughs> Well, I'm not at the research conference right now. I'm at a Chinese restaurant with my group, and there's like half a dozen other people, so I'm not going to be vlogging that by any means. But I just came from the research conference. I saw opening remarks. Then we skipped one of the presentations, which I kind of wanted to go to, but the rest of my group didn't, and I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to eat lunch. So that's that. Um, now I'm in a bathroom at a restaurant in Chinatown in Philadelphia. Uh, last night, I didn't do much. Just studied. That was the end of that. Um, I feel like I haven't caught you guys up very well, uh, but look, they have a thing that says I'm a new member and a first timer, so basically they're telling everyone that I am a baby, and everybody keeps asking me if I'm going to grad school next year, and I keep having to be like, no, it's not happening, no, it's not happening, give me a break, please let me breathe, anyway, I'll go. chair at the conference and my friend is in the bathroom which is why I decided to whip this out now um it's like 6 30 ish I'm fading you guys I'm really tired how do people do this like I've been here one day there are people who have been here for two and are going to be here tomorrow like how do people do this I did my poster presentation. It actually went really well. I was really happy with it. I'll talk a little bit more, I think, tomorrow morning. Um, after I get back, I'll kind of give, like, the recap of the whole weekend. Or, it wasn't a weekend. This is the middle of the week. <laughs> Feels like a weekend. Uh, but I'll give the kind of recap of the trip then. But um, I think I inserted a picture before. And, um, yeah. I think we're going out to dinner as a group with like the professors and the students that are still here. And God, I'm so tired. <laughs> Here's the second wins. I'm actually having a lot of fun right now. Um, we just got done. Alex and I. Alex is my friend that I've been mentioning that I'm here with. Um, and he and I just got done with dinner with a bunch of our professors, which was weird, but a lot of fun. It was actually like two of my favorite faculty members that I've met since I've been here at UB. So it was a ton of fun actually and um, they paid for us which was really nice because it was a very expensive restaurant. We got in and Alex and I were like, oh my god. Then they were like, oh we've got it. We're like, oh, okay, because we don't. And so now I'm walking back to my hotel because I have to, what in the world? Walking back to my hotel because I have to get my shit and go. So, I'm going to do that. I'm back, you guys. I look like a wild animal. I slept on the bus with my makeup on. Also, if you're wondering if the Kat Von D eyeliner stays on for 24 hours, it does. I am now proof. <laughs> um, and, let's see. My stepdad just picked me up. Took me to IHOP. I... Almost called my ex-boyfriend in a blind panic because I couldn't find the bus station and I knew he knew where the bus station was because he's from Philadelphia area and he takes that bus home, which is how I knew about that bus in the first place. Bless up. Um, but I didn't because Alex helped me find it. Alex was really pissed at me. He yelled at me. Whatever. Um, Sorry, I got cut off, but I just deleted an app, so I should be good for a couple seconds. Um, I sat behind someone whose seat was broken. They were literally in my lap, like their seat was resting on my knees. So I got up and moved, and I did not sleep at all last night because I just could not sleep on that stupid bus. And I got in at 6 o'clock in the morning, and now it's 8. Actually, I got in at 7, and now it's 8. So, um... I'm gonna take a shower and get ready for my day. I have work later, which is gonna be a hassle, but 
Anyway, um, to go over how the trip was, I guess I can do that now. Um, that was a lot of fun. I had a really good time. Um, it was cool to hang out with the professors that I hung out with last night. So I got cut off again, but I went back and deleted things again. So we'll see how this goes. Um, so I had fun with the professors. I had fun. I talked to a couple grad schools. There was one specifically that I really liked the sound of. Um, it was Rutgers Camden. And they do a lot of community service, which I, I like. And they have a gerontology, a, an adult and gerontology program, but there's a huge focus on gerontology, which is what I'm kind of looking at. Um, and I'm not going back to grad school right away, but just, just to, to tuck in my, my hat. Um, and I had fun in the city by myself. I was really proud that I did it. And I just, I don't know, I had a good time. It was a lot of fun. It was, I was surprised. I thought it was just going to be like kind of a track for nothing, but I had a lot of fun and I'm really glad I did it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Um, I'm probably going to do another travel vlog this summer. So there's that. And um, hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.